hi guys welcome to kumar consulting so guys uh, now look at here this is a very common uh, you know uh, issues when you guys are doing configurations let's suppose you have done your enterprise structure when you are doing enterprise structure when you do basic settings or uh, whatever the basic configuration initial configurations you do no matter whichever modules are there so uh, most likely you get this kind of issues the data is logged by a particular user id so what we have to do guys how to proceed further because if you click on yes the things are going to be shown in display mode now most likely what happen users will uh, because i know like uh, lots of people are knowing the logic behind this what to do and how to do but still there are lots of fresher beginners and uh, first timers who don't know like what to do so that's the reason i'm recording this so here generally it will appear in display mode and then people will confuse and they will get back to the uh, server owner saying that it is not possible to create the company code so this is not possible because data is already logged by someone so in that case what you have to do if data is logged use sm12 transaction code why because we have to delete the log log you have to delete so remove the user id first of all select your user id click on search button okay now look at here uh, so that user id is gone but still uh, another user id is there right so what you have to do you can select here and click on delete the log okay so whichever whichever user ids are there just you select it here if you click here if you click all user id will be you click here all will be selected and click on delete okay look at here now one by one this sap4 this one this user id was i think so just delete it lots of logs are there guys so until unless it is going to zero okay now if you use xk02 look at here now it is appearing now you can click on new entry you can click create your company code or whatever other configurations are there that can be done easily so the only one solution is what you have to do you have to delete the lock if lock is created by your own user id in that case you need to close the other sessions you might have created some other sessions those sessions need to be closed if the lock is generated by your own user id right and if it is a different user id as i told you use transaction code sm12 and the process which i have explained that you have to follow delete the lock and then you can proceed further you can create your whatever configurations you have to do that you can do it